Hey you guys, March 22nd, 2020, one of the biggest douchebags I've ever known was born on this day. Uh, but anyway, um, on all these weather applications it says it's snowing, but uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's not. Oh well, maybe now, well, it's let's see, let's see if that's any ice coming out of my, into my hand here. Nope, nope, it's still just rain, but we're going to go up to uh we're gonna go up to uh, Onyx Summit because I heard it's uh, really snowing up there and we haven't done an Onyx Summit run in a long time. So I want you guys to see what it's gonna be like driving in from Highway 38. I just gotta do one little thing first. So it looks like a couple snowflakes are starting to mix in actually as we speak. Um, yeah, that was definitely a snowflake. Okay. This is awesome, guys. This could be pretty good tonight. The town could look beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely a, a definite rain-snow mix right now. This is really cool. So nice not having any traffic, man. It really is. Oh, there we go. Some big snowflakes coming down right there. Yeah, we're right on that snow line. Oh, here we go. Now it's all turning to snow right here. It's all turning to snow at one minute and 58 seconds. This is all snow now. That was really cool. You can see it go from rain to all snow. <laughs> that was really cool. Unbelievable, dude. That was super cool. So it's gonna be a fun drive up to Onyx. My friend said it's absolutely dumping up there. He said his whole way from Angeles Summit, or <laughs> Angeles Oaks to Onyx Summit, it was dumping snow. And he said the visibility was so bad, he had to drive Highway 38 by memory, basically. But yeah, guys, look at this, man. We're getting some really wet snow right now. This is awesome. This is awesome, man. So that, that, that was a perfect time to come out for the transition. I'm glad I, I pulled that off. It's perfect. Perfect timing. As a matter of fact, we're just about out of battery. So let me, let me plug this bad boy in. So, click, pull, yeah, ha, ha, ha. All right, cool. And then I'm gonna have to uh, cut out the camera for a moment. Okay, now we're back to like a rain snow mix. It was literally just all snow for just a second there. 37 degrees. I know it's a little cooler than that. Hang on a second. Right, guys. A second. So, we are heading into Sugarloaf right now. And then I've gone to, uh, yeah, I just got, yeah. You guys know what up. So, we're getting rain again down here. And I bet when we get up here to Sugarloaf, we'll be getting some steady snow. That's how close the snow line is right now. So I'm very excited. We're driving up Maple right now. Now we can see a little bit more. Some snowflakes mixing in again, just as I expected. And by the time we get up to the top, I'm telling you guys, it's just like a hundred and something feet difference in the snow line right here. So by the time we get up to the top here, we should be uh, getting some snow on the steady. On the steady already. And look, for, okay. For some of you locals that have been, you know, I don't want you to think I'm, I'm like trying to like be combative or anything like that. Like, uh, um, I totally understand. I'm not trying to get a bunch of people up here, 
and I should make that more clear. I'm just trying to get them up in the mountain areas um, just so they can enjoy the snow. And just, you know, because on the way up here, there's typically better snow anyway than in town on either on either Highway 38 or Highway 18 front side. So, um, yeah, just uh, if you guys are going to come up, just uh, please, 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 if you can, just uh, try to avoid the town if possible, because a lot of people are truly, truly, truly concerned about elderly. And, um, and we have... We actually do have quite the elderly population up here, which doesn't make sense to me why you'd have a bunch of elderly people at 7,000 feet elevation where the oxygen is much thinner and it's harder to breathe. It makes it harder for them. But hey, um, you know, I don't like seeing people suffer. So, um, but at the same time, like you guys aren't asking us down the hill to not go down there. Like, uh, because you have too many elderly people and stuff like, 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 too, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> We're not entitled, man. But just, just please be extra safe. Be extra cautious. Uh, be extra considerate. Obviously, be, be super considerate, you guys. Like, ain't no thing but a chicken wing, you know. So, uh, be super considerate. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we're almost to the top of where I need to be going. And this is making me out to be a liar. So here's Easy's Market, and here's a really good restaurant called Callens. I really enjoy it. Callens is good. Okay, so we're making a left here, and then when we leave Sugarloaf, we're gonna head up to Onyx Summit. Guys, this is gonna be a terrific run. This is gonna be a great one for you guys that just like to cruise. And I'll even turn on. Um, oh wait, oh I can't turn on any tunes because my phone's plugged in. Um, I have the phone plugged in because the battery is dead. Dead. Like uh. If I turn it off, guys, like, sorry about that. We are ex or we're not exiting Sugarloaf yet, but we are on our way out. And no, it didn't turn on into all snow up here like I thought it would. Um, but I guarantee you, in the next ten minutes, we'll be seeing snow. Faux show. Sure. And then, when we come back down from Onyx, I bet it'll be all snow down here. Oh, I love it. I wish it was daytime though, but you guys will still once it starts snowing. It, it really starts brighten, th brightening things up. It's really, really cool. All the street lights, everything just seem like, all the snow reflects like crazy and it just brightens everything. It's really beautiful. So right now we're on Baldwin Road. <laughs> the word bald really brings up my issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. Okay, this is just fantastic. As I said, it's March 22nd, 9.55 p.m. now, 37 degrees. <laughs> and the sneeze. Jeez, that almost blew me out of the chair. Holy moly. It felt like I, I had like an ejector seat on this damn thing. Alrighty then. There we go. Now we're on Highway 38. We just came down from, uh, we just got out of Sugarloaf. And the further we go this way, we should be hitting some pretty heavy weather. According to, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> oh, that's that, uh, the, uh, yeah. Never mind. It scared me. Anyway, no need to be too scared. I wonder if they're gonna have the chain control people over here. They just might actually. So we need to be super careful. I'm gonna tell them, hey man, I'm with the FBI CHP. I'm with the FBI CHP DEA, DOC, COD, PCH, TOP, PCT, and uh, maybe they'll let me through. But I don't see them up there, so we're looking good so far. Five more minutes, we should start hitting snow. But until then, let's get there, huh? Yeah. Let's freaking get there. Ah, oh, we need this, guys. We need this. This 
that's a good amount of moisture coming down. You know why they probably don't have chain control up here? Because uh, I think they're trying to keep people out from this area. What's cool is if, if if I was like out of town and then I came back and I forgot my ID because they're all, they're only letting like big bear people in or something, I could just say, hey, check out my YouTube channel. You'll see I live here. My luck, they'd probably be like, sorry. All right, guys, I feel like the transition is about to come again. Yep, there's a couple snowflakes. change over shortly I promise you because we're, we're gonna be climbing another thousand feet up <coughs> oh watch out mouse he got out of the way he got out of the way I saw him and he got out of the way and then he turned around and said thanks Mr. Mouse guy all right Seven temperatures should start falling in a moment here. I bet it'll be uh, 30 degrees or 33 degrees to 32. No, maybe 32 up top. Up oh, 36 now. came from a much gnarlier part up here where it's uh, supposedly snowing a lot heavier. So we might just go just over Onyx Summit. Uh, maybe not, because I gotta get back home. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the phone and it didn't look like it was recording and I was about to just uh, um, snoop my pants. Snoop. Snoop, 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 snoop. Yeah, folks, it's bad ass, dog. I think that 32 is going to be about right by the time we get up here. And the snow has become drier, so we don't have to use the windshield wipers as much. That's pretty cool. Guys, this is so freaking awesome. I wish you guys were here with me. It'd be cool, like, once again, like, to have a girl with me, like, and just sitting in the passenger seat and doing all these rides with me. 
and more rides. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, as far as you know. So uh, that would be nice. That'd be nice to have someone like that. All right, come on, change to 33 degrees. Come on, you can do it. 34, let's go to 33 right about now. Come on, you bastard. Because we are climbing pretty well. We're at a pretty good uh, trajectory here to get into colder temperatures faster. I'm trying not to stay so close to the cliff since there's nobody driving on the road. I'm just gonna take out both lanes for the most part. Since I was a kid, I'd play these same stupid games, like playing basketball, like three, two, one, Jordan to win the game. Or, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, but it will get down. It will get down to 33 by the time we get to the top for sure. As a matter of fact, we're almost there. There it is, 33. So we got it. Let's see if we'll get down to the 32 that I said. And then, as I said, up at Onyx Summit, the road should be white. See, it's starting to get white. Summit right here. So we're just going to turn around at Onyx Summit. And please get down to 32. That would be pretty cool if I, you know, was able to. It's not too much of a, of a talent type thing. It's just a, a science thing. Oh, here, here's the snow plow. There's the snow plows. Alright, so they're all just chilling like villains. Just plow. Oh, don't be, don't be going now, buddy. I will whoop your ass. Let's go right around you. Pretty awesome, huh? All right, let's gonna stay at 33, huh? Let's just see. Oh no, it got to 32! Yeah! Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. All right, well we're off like a prom dress. Let's head out. Let's head back out. All right, now we're going down. Back down. Hopefully we're. I don't think we spent enough time to let the temps drop enough down there, but. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's snowing in town now, but I doubt it. Let's see. Some for me. Okay, Highway 38 coming down from Onyx Summit. Don't be scared. Oop, getting a little dangerous here, Nick. I'm not going too fast. Guys, I know this seemed extremely fast for these conditions, but it's I'm it's just geez, come on, man. I'm, I'm okay. So this is what your drive's gonna be like, you guys, if you're uh, coming up here. But as I said, once again, for the locals, please do not get mad at me, man. I care about our town, I care about our people, but I care about everybody too. Like, this isn't a private neighborhood. We don't get to tell people from down the hill to stay down the hill. Like, we don't get to do that. And that's just, that's the thing. Just like they don't get to tell us that we can't come down there and go shopping because of the coronavirus, so. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I completely understand where you guys are absolutely coming from, but we have to depend on people being responsible 
and being considerate of other people also, as well as all the measures that have been taking, taken to provide security, safety, and um, health for everybody. Rejuvenation, so just, yeah, just please understand that, that like, I just don't feel right telling people that they can't come up here. Like, it's like, who the, who the fuck am I? And I didn't say the F word, but you guys heard me, like, who the fuck am I to, uh, to say that? Not me at all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, as I said, I completely understand, and it makes 100% sense. But some things are completely out of our hands. Okay, so we're gonna just take both lanes here. It's a long straightaway. You can see cars coming from a long way away. You guys can tell when it's more treacherous, I don't talk as much because I'm really focusing. It's really important. It's really important. Yeah, but why would you drive so fast? Just, dude, dude, you know. Why do people do anything? I know that's a stupid response, but I mean, come on, man. Give me a break. 33 degrees. You can tell the snow's lightening up a little bit down here. And we're probably definitely gonna hit rain again in town, but that's okay. In like an hour or so, it'll 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 probably all be snow in town. Thirty-six by the time we get back all the way down. Maybe thirty-seven, but I'll say thirty-six. Getting wet, heavy snow now, which is why we have to use the windshield wipers every now and again. <laughs> snow mix it's gonna jump up to 35 in just a second let's see if we can uh, catch it switching on us not that it matters I don't know why this stuff like I don't know I guess they're just little oh I hope I missed that mouse I really hope I missed that mouse because that wouldn't have been a field mouse anymore that would have been a road mouse 35 Seriously, I get so sad if I ever hit any type of animals. I don't care how big, small, cute, ugly they are. It breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart. I'm not, you know, that's why I was never built for hunting and stuff. I mean, I love guns, I love shooting guns, but I could just never go kill an animal. Okay, mostly rain now. A couple snowflakes buried in here, but it is mostly rain. I'm gonna end 
name this video rain, rain, snow, heavy snow, back to rain. Now it's all rain, 100% rain, and very light as, very light. Hey, come on, turn to 36. Show me some, show me some love here. Come on. It will. It will. Yep, there we go, 36. There's a chance we could hit 37, but that's as high as we'll get. I'm pretty sure. be down over here when we turn on to Highway or Big Bear Boulevard. I gotta say it's pretty nice. Even though we're not getting any snow down here. It's so close, I'm telling you. I'll show you the thermometer again, or the, the ambient temperature gauge, and we'll see if it stayed at 37. <laughs> Why are you out? Shouldn't you be quarantining? Quarantine? Yeah. person to turn or something so I can turn on my brights. But yeah, it kind of sucks. It's all rain again. Super bummed. But it's a, you know, more of this will go into the lake than the snow, so we'll take it. <clears throat> I 
exercise on his bike. Hell yeah, bro. That's what I used to do. <coughs> Hell yeah. I love that guy. That guy's my hero. I'm tired as a bug. Temperature stayed at 37. I should have not said that. It's probably gonna change like right now. But it's okay. I hope it stays at 37 all the time we get home. I hope this guy doesn't stay at 37 to get home. That's how fast he's going 35, but that's okay. He's driving the speed limit, so I shouldn't get upset about that. couple snowflakes mixing in. It's not very many, but I see a couple. get up or get back home I'll, I'll go down to where the ambient temperature gauge is and I'll like exhale on it to get some of the heat on it and bring it up one get one degree um, I'm such a dumbass all right oh you want to race now huh? I don't think so you can't you can't beat me driving a mini Cooper thinking he can beat me there's a lot more snow falling in now I think the temperature might even drop a degree by the time we get to the house Snow Summit is completely gone. You can't see it at all. It's completely gone. Pops everywhere. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. I'm. F uh oh. That's gonna be a ticket. So you know what I gotta do? Maybe uh, just get the hell out of here. Don't turn out, please. I'm just trying to show my people the town. Now we're all snow. Just like that, flip of a switch, all snow, look at that. Unreal, unreal. But it's so cool that it, it does this right by my house. I like that. It knows that I like snow over here. So it says, hey, 
you know what, Nick's our boy, and he likes to, he, you know, he likes to document how beautiful we are, nature, so, uh, I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got issues, many, look, it's all snow, my friend, I'm very happy, I'm very, very happy. park in front of my friend's house here because we're gonna be going into his house for a minute i love you guys march 22nd 2020 as i said one of the biggest douchebags was born on this day in 1984 just the guy's such a tool i'd like to just punch him in the face <laughs> anyway i love you guys bye